Here we have a pair of uh, Bengay Cardinals, the male being the one on the left. This guy's bred me several healthy batches. Um, biggest batch we had out of them was 42, of which we've still got 40, and they seem to be growing quite nicely. Now the, this female is pregnant, if you turn sideways you can see that the lower abdomen cooperative, but the lower abdomen is swollen and a lot darker if only see there, filming fish it's not as easy as it looks but the lower belly is a lot darker than the, the upper shoulder. Normally when she's not carrying eggs it's uh, kind of a more uniform color. And like I say, here's the male. You know, this when hopefully um, we'll get a good side shot of him uh, like there. And I'll try and get a side shot of him when he's carrying eggs. So you can see the difference in the shape of the jaw. This pair doing a little mating dance. It looks like the female is almost ready to, to give up her eggs to the male. Um, which the male then carries in his mouth for the next 23 days this particular guy carries without eating till the uh, where's those two clowns? Um, without eating until the, the babies are exactly like the adults except for the spots and then he spits them out into open water at which point the rest of these fish in this particular tank will eat them and in the ocean they probably do the same thing there's a pair of black and white clowns um, they're almost breeding age as well, but I've had no success with, with clowns because as soon as they lay their eggs, everybody else in the tank attacks and eats all the eggs because they're tasty. A good side view of the male bang guy. Um, of course, and then he goes and hides. See the face is still fairly um, rounded or, or not distended. Um, hopefully when he gets a mouthful of eggs, which should be probably in the next day or so, we'll get a shot of him. This guy's got a mouthful of eggs, but he, again, it's difficult to get these guys to play for the camera. Um, let me turn them off sideways so we can get a, a look at the square jaw. Did, uh, did, did they look really there? Almost boxer dog type square jaw when they've got a mouthful of eggs. Um, again the female here she's all back to a more light color um, throughout the whole body as opposed to the the darker part when she was gravid. And there's not a bad shot of how square if this tang could get out of the way. Um, anyway it's a bang guy with a mouthful. He'll carry these eggs in his mouth for 20, this particular guy, about 23 days before the, uh, the eggs are hatched and fully formed and come out like replicas of the parents.
Okay, here we have Gene's uh, fish tank. It's uh, 55 American gallons, 48 euro or Canadian gallon tank. Um, mainly populated by uh, soft corals. Uh, but recently we've been having uh, Bangai cardinals because we've been breeding them quite successfully. The bigger ones that I'm going to just kind of zoom in on here are probably six, six to eight months old. Really quite nice to look at. Um, the ones in the smaller half gallon chrysal or plastic goldfish bowl with holes drilled in it, these are about um, a couple of months. And then the ones in the next tub we got out last night um, they're in a like a homemade plastic urchin it's made out of tie wraps and there's probably 40 of the little gaffers in here 42 I think we counted um, I'm just going to stop this and try and get a little bit closer up on them so you can see the size of the coin here is a penny, so you can see um, kind of the size of these little guys. Um, it's tough to get focus through glass and glass and water, but there they are. Like I say, there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, I think we counted 42. Baby bang guys. And, uh, and a half gallon plastic goldfish bowl um, that was just clamped inside the main aquarium. These bangai are uh, between two and three months old and as you can see again comparison size with the penny they're um, considerably bigger and then the ones that are free swimming actually in the tank are um, between six, six, seven months. Um, breedable size and ready to be, <laughs> yeah, ready to catch or be caught and taken back to the, uh, the pet store where I bought the original two where I think we've got about 30 of these guys here and I'll sell them to the pet store for probably $10 each and the, the pet store will sell them for $20 each but what am I going to do with them? So yeah, I'll sell them back to the guy I sell them the original pair he makes some money, I make some money for having fun breeding these things and everybody's happy. <laughs>